Mr. Chairman, would you yield? I, I would yield. Mr. Uh, President? I, I thank the Chairman for yielding, and I'm here as living proof that he's not the Lone Ranger on this. That the committee has diligently, we may not be as passionate as he is, but the committee has worked diligently to try to get higher education done. It is a farce to come in here and think that we're going to pass a two-year House bill to fund historically black colleges. Nobody has more historically black colleges in their state than I do. What they want, they want predictability, permanent funding. The chairman's willing to do that. But part of the condition to do that is sit down and now quit talking, pass higher education. Reduce the application to one page. Let these students go out and their parents and be able to fill this out and not miss an education because they can't go through a laborious process. What the chairman has laid on the table is reasonable. The committee has talked about it for years. Now it's time to act. It's not time to act on one little piece of it for a temporary funding. It's time to provide permanent funding for that and to do the rest of higher education. As proud as I am as being the home of the majority of the historic black colleges and universities, I also have about 70 other colleges and universities in North Carolina. And they're the beneficiary of everything else that's in this education bill. Compromise is not about take what I've got and not give anything else. We've been trying to work through the chairman and the ranking members uh, working together to find compromise for five years. Many times the chairman has come to me and said, I think we can do it this year. Well, we've got to have willing partners on the other side of the aisle. And today is a, 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 a live example of where it's either their way or no way. Now, I hope we can get back and before we leave this year, we can get this package passed. It's real simple. Just commit to do what we've all sat down and talked about for five years. If there are minor changes that need to be made, then let's make them in the next day or two. But to say that we're going to wait until next year and be here a year from now when that time frame has run out, let me assure you, if the chairman's not here to object to this request, I'll be here to object to this request. The time to talk is over. The time to act is now. I thank the chairman for yielding.